So guys, I am married to Tara, the owner and crafter of Wood Artisan of Memory Keeper Sunny Crafts. So, you love DIY and you're a hobbyist. You love reading articles or jewelry stuff from Pinterest. And you have friends and folks that love your work. And you make beautiful things at your home. So, why not sell your crafts online? In that way, you can earn money and you can exercise your gift, your passion. So, a lot of people told me before na kaling mong gumawa na ito, ganyan. So, why not sell your stuff? So, I started selling my stuffs to my friends. Yung mga nakakilala sa akin, tapos yung nakikita yung mga works ko, sila yung first binentahan ko. So, this just spread through word of mouth. So, I've been to DIY shorts making accessories, making soaps, and then finally, I'm into wood crafting. So, all my work before, I'm a nurse. Tapos, naging sideline ko yung wood crafting. So, as for now, I've been into three years, and I can say na, may mga skills talagang na-develop. And I've learned a lot from it through my actual experience as you see when you read when people teach you how how it should be done this is not just enough you need to experience it before you can be semi-confident or an expert to your field in my case I can say na hindi pa rin ako 100% expert ang dami pa pong dapat malaman and that is through actual experience so, how to establish an online account and sell your cap. So, diba dati, I've been selling to my friends now. So, I've opened a Facebook page and then at the same time, an Instagram account. So, doon makikita nyo na unti-unting ina-upload ko yung mga cap. So, I've started with photo on wood that is by preserving and transferring photos to wood so yung wood grain is visible so that is so maganda for them and then next product of mine is the memory chart so yung pakit ng dun yung wood so may touch of wood pa rin so I have I have decided to make my name into Memory Keeper Sandy Crafts because I wanted to share my craft into people who are going to use it. I are going to use it in memorable events. So, good as gifts, weddings, birthdays, opening of a shop. These are all milestones. There are celebrations. By that way, makikita mo na ano talaga. Gamit na gamit yung wood sa mga occasion na gamit ko. Like giveaways, dessert stuff, uh, and even wedding coordinators, they ask for my help for the package. So when you open an online account on Facebook and Instagram, what you need to do next is by uploading lang. So then I'll upload. And I find it very, very useful, especially on Instagram, to use hashtag. So when you do hashtag, don't use hashtag wood. Pwede naman for like, but if your target is to have customers, you should, you should make the scope smaller. So you have to put there. You have to key in wood pH, wood Philippines, Tapos, giveaways, Philippines, and then on. So, if you have food business, like, like, uh, like chia seeds, yung mga ganito, chia seeds, hashtag chia seeds. So, when the person will find the tag on Instagram, yung post yung makikita nila. And it is important to be public first is you want to gain more followers so some people they would join 
SFS or ads group that is by posting their account or sometimes at the same time yung pumakasama nila pinapost din sila so it can gain followers as well but as for me I love organic like organic followers so kung sino lang yung nakakapag-follow yun organic yun lahat and then after you upload you need to you need to upload it sa ano din sa Facebook page nyo so by then go grow din yung mga followers nyo, dadami din tapos at the same time in your personal account so there are things that you need to know before you make your account so, dapat it is important na you are fully prepared kasi once you once you establish an account na it will be continuable so, experiences will surprise you like handling your clients and then so you need to choose also your target market so if in target market you are millennials the adults you can learn. so you need to take that in mind and then you should be prepared for the materials your suppliers because I know it is important na if supplier number one is out, dapat may backup ka din. May backup ka din. Meron mga obstacles na ganyan na tinitest ka talaga. Tapos next is, it is important that you need to update your account if possible in a way maraming beses. By that way, maraming clients na lalapit sa iyo. And then, don't forget, in every craft that you make, put the name of your business. So, kailangan na may ano doon, may tag mo or sticker para yung receiver makikita nila kung kanil magaling. And, yung mga receiver or doon sa yung iba. Then, what else? You need to you need to be you need to be prepared kung may mga client release kasi um, you need to entertain them agad-agad para continuous yung conversation kasi yung iba iba dyan pag hindi mo sila sinagot sa agad they will no longer go back to your account Ibig ko sa mga nagsisimula pa. Kasi, I find it very, very useful na very approachable pa. Tapos, pag needed ka nila, nandyan ka talaga. Tapos, when you sell your crafts, um, take pictures or take documentation of how you pack it, how you need it, how you ship it. It's very important to skip all the deals the air bills, the way bills nyo, para proof of transaction so that other people will see that you are legit. So as for me, ginawa ko dun, I keep all the receipts. So, sinipturan ko lang, and then when I ship the product, before I ship the product, I, I send infos to the clients, like this is the photo of your product, this is the photo of the receipt, and then I'll give them the lead time for the product kung kailan nila mali-receive yun. And then, after dyan, wait for the feedback of the client. If ever they can give you feedback and nagsisimula ka pa, just follow up. Ask them, ma'am, how's, how's the product? Na-receive yun na pa, yung ganun na. And then, they will respond from the give you photo feedback and will give you positive feedback and you need to upload that so that others will see na may positive feedback sa may reviews sa products mo so nakaka-help din yun and then after that uh, if merong obstacles like client na nagreklamo sa'yo don't be discouraged because I find it very useful na 
kailangan mo talaga ng ganitong situation in order to grow because pag instant test na i-push sa'yo ganito na namang situation you will be prepared na ganito dapat ang gawin and then isi-set mo talaga yung client mo you need to direct your client para magiging okay yung products mo in the future dyan ka mahasa eh yung ano parang uh, experience mo talaga because uh, at first akala ko easy ng lahat but at, at the time goes on dami pa pa lang kailangan malaman not just your product not just your painting not just your good friend but just what you do but also you need to learn everything flyers there's a cons there's fly on your good ears you need to be fully aware of yourself emotionally physically and mentally so after that uh, you can post this positive feedback then the personal account you know. don't worry na ano mag post ka sa personal account they need to see that because your loved ones your friends your relatives are the people who are going to support you when you begin in online ad and then i hope you have learned much from me next time i will discuss to you how to put up or how to begin a woodworking online site so i hope you would like and subscribe my channel malami pa po share sa inyo and then hopefully you can learn a lot